Hey guys, so this is uh, my Yamaha 6. I'm gonna be taking off this top triple clamp here, the top yoke, to get this damage repaired here. Get this uh, all blast coated and looking nice. Um, I've not done one of these before, so hopefully this will be a sort of guide to help <laughs> not make mistakes that I make during this video, and hopefully that uh, it will all come off quite nicely. You've got to take off the actual handles on these first because you see, you can see, ish, uh, they sit on top. Of where the, that's the clamp for the triple clamp. And then this is the clamp for your hand, actual handles. So they're gonna have to come off first. Hopefully there's uh, enough slack in all these uh, bits to not have to take any of them off. That one's a bit tight, but we'll see where we can get to. But yeah, without further ado, let's just uh, crack into it and uh, see what we can do. You yeah, watch, well, it'll turn out that um, they're all Imperial or something and I've, oh no, that's actually all right. might have to uh, take this heated grips clamp off just because uh, there's a little bit of play actually in that cable. I might just take it off just, uh, just to be safe. Alright, so these little things come out, they're just little covers. Good, I didn't try uh, anything too savagey with that. I just snapped it. Yeah. Hopefully, the uh, camera angles are right for you a lot. It's the first time I've ever done it, I've got it mounted on the top of my forehead. Oh, it's actually really easy, look. Just slides off nice and easy. Luckily there is enough slide just to slide that round. Just leave that there for a minute. Just get the other side off. Good thing is you can't really get it wrong when you put that together because there's a groove on it. Like, you know, it has to sit in that groove and that bolt has to go in place, doesn't it? So, you're not going to have an issue when that bolt's the locating bolt, so you don't have to worry about handlebars being out of alignment or anything. Walk on the bike. This comes off nice and easy. Oh. There's a bit more stuff on here, I'm sure. Going down the sizes on the uh, Thank key set. Uh, yeah, I recommend um, you take pictures before you do anything, obviously, just so you remember how uh, it goes back together. Still 
Oh, it's that. Okay, so there's a cable tie down there. Cut that cable tie. Hopefully should, uh, should come off a bit easier. Got it. Oh. goes back together. Oh, the bottom was nice and loose. Hopefully this should uh, come off now. So much easier. <laughs> See, this is why I made this video, so you don't make the same mistakes that I do. Right, it's like a 10, 8, we're done with it. That's obviously not that's too small. Or oh, six, sorry, it should be six. No, oh, it's in my pocket. Later. All right, guys, we're gonna have to stop the video for a bit because this is a 36 mil, and I have a 32 biggest, and my brother has lost my uh, big adjustables that I could have used to get it off. So we're gonna have to end it tonight and uh, pick up again when I get the right size spanner, which will hopefully be tomorrow. Hey, guys, we're back again. It's been. Hello, pussy cat. <laughs> it's been a couple of days since I uh, started this because I struggled getting the uh, right size socket slash spanner for that. So I've now got the right size. I'm going to have to get a different one though for putting it back together because it needs to be torqued back up. But let's uh, try and get this off first without damaging anything. My best to not I've like got my leg in the way so I can't slip and hit the tank <laughs> I'm not too sure on how the ignition pack comes off but um, we'll try to get a clamp up there should be enough slack in the cable so we have to get a look underneath yeah ignition pack Up quite easy to be honest. I thought it uh, might be a struggle. So, after doing some research, these bolts are security shear bolts, so they shear when they are torqued up. So, I'm gonna have to um, improvise on how to get them out basically. So, it's uh, First, so I'm gonna have to basically cut them. I've come up out of all sorts today. Alright, so I've put a little groove in. Let's try a Even there just to the screwdriver getting a bit, it feels quite tight, so I might have to uh, 
heat the bolt a bit as well. Where's the fire? I'm so lucky I had that fucking thing there at home. <laughs> Felt like the bird dog fucking cut me up. Yeah, she come out. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Look at that Loctite. Well guys, got it off. I just gotta get these nuts out. I'll probably just get some grips on them or so. Put a heat up, get the Loctite off. Get some steel and some grips on, get them out. And then that'll be a way to get sprayed. What a bloody nightmare. Jesus, oh. <laughs> Lost for words. But anyway, that will conclude this video. Um, obviously, when it comes back, we will see it. Um, I'll put it back together. Hopefully, it'll put it back together quicker. I'm going to replace these bolts for normal bolts. Get rid of the security wires. It's stupid. Just in case I need to take off again. But yeah, get this cleaned up and everything. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next one.